This video is sponsored by Whale Street, a new decentralized token swap protocol running on Ethereum. Now, Whale Street is designed in particular to allow people to swap very large amounts of tokens, but it has a sort of gamified NFT based uh, structure around it. I'm not going to go through this entire blog post, as you can see, I'm just going to head to the summary. Um, and so what Whale Street is designed to do is allow people to make massive currency swaps um, without crashing the system. It has a, uh, a token called LST. Um, and if you contribute to the liquidity, you earn this shrimp token, which is both of these are ERC 20 tokens, shrimp token is a kind of reward token. Um, but you need the shrimp token as well uh, to bid for and buy NFTs. And the NFTs are what allow you to make a swap. If you have the NFT, you become a swap master. You set the terms of the whale swap, what tokens to swap and when, and also the percentage of the fee you get. Everyone is rewarded uh, in shrimp for the process that goes on here. As I say, this is super interesting, rather complicated. I suggest if you're interested, you go and check the blog post. But thanks for the sponsorship. Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So we can see here, I'm um, just reminding um, us what's going on today. So the second round of 2019 car NFT staking begins today, 22nd of February for uh, the game F1 Delta Time. So uh, this is the second round. So the first round happened um, last year, 2020. And you basically you could stake uh, just your cars. There's other NFTs in the game, but you can stake just cars. Um, and you basically every day you generate some of the rev tokens. So rev tokens is the uh, ERC 20 token, which underpins F1 Delta time and, and other games. And basically all, all this is doing is allowing people to um, use uh, to kind of get some passive income for vehicles that they are probably not using at the moment. So if you're really into F1 Delta time, you've bought the 2020 uh, series cars and other NFTs uh, and they give you sort of a, um, you know, they're more, uh, give you a boost sort of thing compared to the 2019 ones, um, if you're actually playing the game. But uh, the 2019 ones are, are being kind of incentivized uh, to have some value because um, you can go and stake them. Um, so um, there is, so uh, there was 2 million rev was earned last time round. Um, and in fact, there is this 2019 car NFT staking pool, um, which uh, originally consisted of 12 million um, and they're going to give away another 2 million of that. So there's still there's still quite a lot of rev to be given away from the 2019 um, cars. Um, and the uh, says here, um, the uh, obviously the the more powerful the cars you've got, um, the, the more the rarer the cars you've got, the, the more you're going to earn. Uh, clearly that, that sort of stuff. Also important, you can uh, batch stake. So if you had a lot of cars, you want to um, uh, uh, batch them all and, and save on gas fees. Gas fees is going to be the thing here that's going to be expensive, um, and I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. I've only got two cars, so gas fees are going to be horrible um, and probably um, not make it worthwhile. But um, let's go and have a look. So let's actually go and do it and see see what this actually looks like um, when we're doing it. Okay, so here we are in F1 Delta Time. This is the web interface um, to the game. Um, I'm logged into MetaMask. And we can see here, I'm in the garage and it says I have cars ready to stake and I have these two cars. So these are really um, rubbish, cheapo cars that I bought um, just to play the game. I'm not a, really a big player of this game. I've not um, invested enough. <laughs> I've invested enough just to play it, but I've not invested enough to um, to, uh, <laughs> to be anything like competitive. Um, but I can go and stake. So um, I have to go to staking, see if I remember how to do this. So here we go. I'm going to the stake uh, interface here. So this is running from the 22nd of February to the 24th of March. So just over a month. Um, I can claim my rev once the period ends. So you want to get in. If you're going to do this, you want to get into it as quickly as possible. Um, and you can see here. Um, so my one car has a weight of one and one car has a weight of two. So obviously that was the kind of um, the kind of value of them. And I will earn um, 55 55 rev a day. Can't think what the price of rev is at the moment. Um, about 10 cents. So, so 55 might be five dollars a day. Actually, that might, that's, that's actually might be pretty good. Um, we'll see. Okay, so let's um, let's see. The gas fees are the things that are going to scare me. Probably going to be about fifty dollars. <laughs> uh, so um, anyway, let's see. Let's see what we get. So I'm going to say confirm here. It's going to um, ask. 
need to pay through MetaMask. Oh, hundred dollars. <laughs> so if I was doing fifty, if I was doing, if I get my maths right, fifty-five, five dollars a day, a um, hundred and fifty. The, the problem here is you're paying the gas fee um, to put them in, and then you're paying the gas fee to to get them out again. So you're paying like double the gas fee. Um, so um, let's uh, let's maybe wait for a bit. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's just leave that for the time being. There is something else I could do. Let's go and see. Um, let's go and see what's going on with OpenSea. So um, I've fired up OpenSea, which is the uh, big Ethereum uh, marketplace for NFTs. I've looked at uh, F1 Delta Time and I've selected the cars um, and I've selected uh, by cheapest. So these are the cheapest cars I can get. As you can see, there is about 0 0.1, 0 0.1 ETH. So that's about 100. Um, what are we on at the moment? Um, no, it's not. That's about, well, it's going to be at 200, isn't it? 180. So the cheapest cars are about $180 um, to buy. Um, so if I think I'm going to pay, pay like $200 for that, um, but I might earn another, um, well, the cheapest one will be 18. So it's going to give me um, 18. It's going to give me about a dollar a day. It's going to give me $30. So would I? is it worth paying? Um, hundred dollars to earn another thirty dollars how does that help me in terms of the gas fees um what's the gas fee here anyway to buy this one so it's 162 dollars um or not the gas fee is going to be on this it's probably it's just gas just kills you doesn't it it's, it's it's the uh it's mentally debilitating to look at the gas fees um particularly for something that I'm, I'm not really bothered about doing it um so it's 54 gas fee um uh let's 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 uh, let's be risky. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, I kind of, as I say, I'm not doing this for financial gain. Um, but equally, you know, in a sense, you are staking. You are staking to get the the rev tokens. So there is this kind of idea that you 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 would be, um, you know, is the rev token going to go up? I don't know, really. Um, the rev token's done pretty well recently, but so, so have most cryptocurrencies. The rev token is not just on F1 Delta Time. I think my gut feeling is F1 Delta Time as a game is 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 not really going to go mass market. I just I kind of think in its current format, um, probably not going to work. It is going it is going to other blockchains. So I think it is going. Well, Animoca Brands have announced it's going to other blockchains. Um, I think they announced it was going to Matic, um, which is a layer two. Problem is to get everything over to layer two, you have to pay the gas fees as well to get everything over. So that's going to be a bit of a pain. Um, so, so Matic may save it. I just kind of think that probably the way that game is formulated, it's not the most accessible game. It's quite um, kind of sort of quite kind of geeky. Quite, um, I think for it to work, it would have to be quite kind of quite um, redone. But there is a a MotoGP game, a, a motorcycle motorcycle game based on it, and also a Formula E, the the electric um, formula. Um, uh, game is also based on it, so so that's all using the same rev token. So so in a sense, uh, the rev token has a few different paths to uh, paths to success, as as, uh, as we uh, uh, as we we might say. So I think there is something more in the rev token, uh, maybe more than in F1 Delta Time. Okay, let's go back to F1 Delta Time and see if this um, this kind of changes things. Right, that was a great example of uh, why you shouldn't be quickly buying things <laughs> when you're doing a video because you buy the wrong thing. So that was a disaster. So the cheapest one that I just bought was actually the wrong season. So it was a 2020 season one, which you can't stake. So, um, <laughs> so I've had to put that back on sale and then go and buy another one. So that was uh, that was what not to do. That's really... Uh, the, the economics of my uh, <laughs> of this video, if if they were ever sensible, are now <laughs> now no longer anything like sensible. Um, but uh, but now I'm I'm a bit committed, I suppose. <laughs> and probably now I'm doing three cars. The gas fee is going to go through the roof. Anyway, so I bought this char car. Uh, the char car is going to give me another eighteen. So now we've got fifty uh, sixty two. So sixty two um, estimated sixty two rev a day. Um, so it doesn't really, I mean, it's only adding me like kind of another 30 on what I'm getting, um, at 62 a day. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it may vaguely cover the gas. So anyway, let's put them all in and see what the gas fee comes out like. Um, there was a hundred last time. Oh, so it has gone up. Anyway, um, in for a penny, in for a $138 of gas fee. Um, 
so we'll just uh, wait for that to uh, sort itself out right and uh, and there we can see it. it's not particularly exciting <laughs> to be honest so we can see three cars that are staked um, they are two common cars one rare car so that's why there's that different um, um, different uh, weighting so one was 127 and two were 18 so the Common ones are 18, the rare ones was, was one, but I'm not going to buy a rare car. It was 27, I'm not going to buy a rare car. I'm certainly not going to gonna get up to these ones. Um, so uh, we can see here, um, I can't claim anything until the period ends. So my total weight is four, so two, three, four. Um, and that is currently 0.1% um, of global weighting, which is actually not too bad. So um, I imagine because of the gas fees <laughs> being so ridiculous, many sensible people are not getting involved in this. Uh, because it's very unclear um, that they're going to make any money out of it. And it may even be, I mean, you know, you have to kind of think, if this is what gas fees are like now, are they going to be higher or lower in a month's time? Um, probably about the same. I mean, I, I just think gas fees are going to be just, I can't see them getting much lower, really. Um, Hey-ho, um, done it now. So um, we can see here that I'm currently projected um, 70, 74 rev. Um, per day, um, that's going to run now for for um, thirty was it thirty to three days. Um, so I can maybe do the maths on that. I've got to look and check the rev price and see. But um, this is basically what it is. So I would I wouldn't recommend you doing this. I wouldn't recommend you. Uh, I would recommend you doing this if you have if you have ten cars sitting around not doing anything. Probably worth it. Um, it's definitely not. Um, I wouldn't recommend you go and buy cars in order to do this. Um, if you have actually, if you have cars that you're not interested in in the 2019 season, you could probably sell them at the moment because probably people like me would be looking for cheap cars. Um, so if you had, you could put you. Yeah, so the, the the car I ended up buying was was um, 0.1 ETH, so getting on for two hundred dollars. So if you had any cars you wanted to get rid of, probably selling now for for 0 0.1, 0 0.09 ETH. Um, you know, you'd probably probably get some takers for those because at the moment people. The more cars you can get to shove into this staking system, uh, then the kind of the less gas fees it is per car, and the more the more weight you're getting. Um, so, so that probably does work out if you're sticking ten cars in here, or if you start sticking epic epic cars in here, you're probably going to do quite well out of this um, because just think the gas thing's going to be an issue. Anyway, um, thanks for watching uh, the video. Thanks for watching me have a have a minor breakdown <laughs> on camera. Um, hope you found it maybe not enjoyable. Um, but I hope you found it useful. Um, thanks for watching and uh, see you again soon.